So in this session, we're going to look at task pools. So before we get into actually using them, it's just to understand what a task pool is. A task pool is something that sits inside each Power Project file, PP file. It can be set up inside the template projects. So when I look at going file new, any of these projects can have their own task pool. So individual to each template, individual to each project. But a task pool is a set of activities, a network of tasks, a fragnet, a template of activities that you may reuse multiple times inside one project. Or it may be that they're a set of predefined tasks that you'd use every time you create a project. So as an example here, we have task pools inside this template. This is the standard construction. And we have superstructure, envelope, substructure, and procurement. And if I wanted to use any of these, I can just click on those, drag them onto this screen, and that will then drop those on there. And as you see here, they're predefined tasks that can have resources assigned to them, costs assigned to them, code libraries assigned to them, links um, set up already defined. So if I wanted to use that, I've got superstructure, and okay, if I just drag the one here, a substructure across, that would also have a whole set of activities inside there that I could use. Now, those tasks inside here, if I go down and click inside the this task pools or superstructure, you can see I can see them in here and I can make modifications to them as I want their normal tasks, but these are not part of the project. When you reschedule, when you do resource um, viewing and histograms, none of these are taken into place. They're in a completely separate area that's nothing to do with the actual project itself in there. And then when I go back to program, these are the ones that are activities that are in the actual project that are used when rescheduling, resourcing and costing. If I wanted to create a new task pool, if I, I could either have an existing project or existing section of a project that I already um, wanted. So if I'm just going to go here and create task four, and I'm just going to put some, some durations in there, like so. And I'm going to link these together in here, like so. I can even choose to code up these in different contractors. So I go like so. I allocate my different code libraries and I'm randomly allocating these as an example. Recalculate the project. There we go, it's got a critical path. But again, the criticality doesn't matter because once you drop it back in as a, from a task pool, it doesn't matter. Now, what I do need is I need to have a summary structure or expanded. So this is my. Um, um, let's call it my work package one. And once I've got that in place, what I can do now here is I can go over here, right click on this task. And there's an option here to copy task, copy to task pool. And when I do that, it out. you'll now see I've got work package one over here. So if I was for now to remove my actual task in there, if I wanted a new work package one, I can just drop it, drag and drop it. If I wanted another one, drag and drop it, like so, and show to all levels it's in there. And then obviously I just need to reschedule to work out critical path and so forth. Now what you will notice is if I um if I just remove one of these out of the way, and let's call this work package two. That and I might say that I've made some modifications to this and different durations, how it's going to appear. Recalculate that so it aligns everything, but it's not necessary to reschedule to go into task pool. Now, I again I could right click on this and make this another ta uh, task pool, which would make a slightly different work package in there. It could have additional items inside here, um, it can have resources and costs on it. But if I selected a couple of these items in here and I progress these to 100% or so, because this may be part of an existing project I've already done, I want to use as task pools, when I actually choose to copy this into task pools, it creates my work package too. But when I select that, notice the progress has been removed. So no items inside um, a task pool can have progress. Now I go back again. When I drag when I choose to add this to task pools by right clicking and copy to task pools, there are some further options. And if I go to my file options and under the edit button, just go to the task pool settings. I can decide when I create a task pool whether it removes demand resources, scheduled resources, consumable resources, and costs. 
So if I had all of those ticked, it would strip all resources and costings off the tasks when it assigned. It automatically would always remove the progress, but it will maintain the task, the links as well inside there in code libraries and so forth. So it's a very useful way of having repeatable activities that you can have inside here that you just set up inside your template, give that to everybody and they have a default structure to create a project from rather than creating it from complete scratch.